bought this trailer in April of 2014 and I um, took it on a number of camping trips. Um, went all over Vermont, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio. Had a good time in it. Um, after I did all that I decided I should probably put some time into maintaining it. So I took off the wheels and went to uh, grease the bearings in the wheels, hubs, and noticed that the axle was um, on a negative angle. And what that means is that the axle is worn out. That uh, This is called a torsion axle. It's a axle that has like a rubber band inside it or a rubber plate inside it. And there's an arm on the end that when it goes up and down, it squeezes or crushes that rubber and that acts as a shock absorber. So there's no other springs or shock absorbers on these axles. And I think after a couple of rough miles, you can really destroy them. Although it's a really nice axle for independent suspension and a pretty nice smooth ride for the trailer and all its contents. So I decided to uh, upgrade the axle from this original 2,000 pound axle to a 3,500 pound axle. So a, uh, so a big improvement on the uh, load capacity of the trailer, which will uh, keep it from wearing out quite as fast. And the other thing it'll do is it's gonna raise the trailer up about four or five inches for me. Now the old axle, all axles have a uh, tag on them that tells you what they are and um, their drawing number and their uh, specifications for capacity, which allows me to uh, call up a axle vendor and um, give them those numbers and they can call the company, LKO, and get the uh, exact drawing and then they can take that drawing and make sure all the attachment points and specifications are the same to fit that trailer. So if I just say I want to increase the capacity, they just change the drawing and, and literally uh, manufacture the axle to my specifications. So it's really nice. It was pretty easy to get the um, right axle to uh, replace the old one. So I ordered the new one and it took about Oh, uh, I think four to six weeks for it to actually come. I had it, it had to go to my office because it comes on a freight truck, a uh, big, uh, big truck, and uh, on a pallet. And uh, I cut it off the pallet and threw it in the back of my car. And uh, it wasn't too heavy, probably about, uh, probably 75 pounds or so. And um, put it on the, uh, put it next to the trailer to make sure it looked the same as the old one. And it did. So then the next part of the job, now that I had the parts, is I had to start to dismantle the trailer. So I started by, of course, putting the trailer up on jacks, which of course it's a one single axle trailer, which is a little tricky. Um, had to raise the tongue jack up and uh, put four uh, jack stands under it and then take the wheels off and make sure it was all steady. The uh, the frame is angled. It's uh, tapered up to the end, so it was a, a chore. Then we um, checked under to make sure everything was steady. I put uh, my floor jack underneath the underneath the old axle, still in the, on the trailer, and then took the bolts off. And that way, the axle didn't just come crashing down. The, the bolts come off from the inside. You have to lay under and unbolt those and unscrew them off and they come off and um, then I just uh, lowered the jack down and set one end of the axle on a little wheeled dolly I had and pulled it out of the from under the trailer. It didn't weigh hardly anything but it just wheeled out on a little dolly so that was uh, helpful. And Then I did the same thing to get the new one in. Put it on the dolly and rolled it down underneath and then I used the jack to lift it up into place and bolting one end at a time. Um, I lifted it up and kind of put one nut in on one side and then came over and put a nut on the other side. And then uh, got it all up and in there and made sure that um, I was almost lifting it up to uh, when I had the jack on it to 
almost lifting the whole trailer up with the axle. Then when the axle was all in there and uh, bolted in tight and torqued up, I wrapped a string around the axle, um, the uh, bearing cup or the grease cup, and then ran the string all the way up to the tongue of the trailer and then back around to the other wheel and wrapped it around the, the grease cap on the other side of the axle, the same as you see on this one. The, at the tongue, it goes right across the face of the tongue and I put a little black ink mark or real, real solid so I could find it on the string. And then on each of the axle grease bearings where the string is, I put another uh, ink mark with a Sharpie pen. And then I took the string off and looked to see that if I folded the string at the mark I made on the tongue, if the other two marks would come up right next to each other and they were within a half a millimeter. So the alignment of the axle was real good. I was real pleased with that. So with that all done, um, we're kind of done. We put the tires back on, took the jack stands out, and uh, the trailer was done. And it was a pretty easy job, really. I really thought it was going to be a lot harder. Um, the worst part was putting the wheels on and off in all reality. Five nuts in each wheel. And this is the difference. That's on the new axle. This is the old axle. You can see the wheel height is different. The new one again. And um, so it gives me a, quite a bit of clearance. There's the old one. And uh, I'm real glad I did it. I'm hoping I won't be scraping ground going... Uh, up some of the roads I go and I think this is great. So I hope I've encouraged anybody that might have been thinking about changing their axle. It's a pretty easy job and I'm now ready to go camping again. And though I'm sorry to say that this is a picture of the trailer before I change the axle, it's still a wonderful trailer and uh, if you have an A-liner or a small pop-up with that type of uh, axle system it's pretty easy to change and upgrade your axle to a heavier axle to make your trailer a little more usable and applicable to different types well thank you for watching the boys and i are glad you're here and um, subscribe and thumbs up if you want to and um, we'll hope to see you on the road somewhere camping um, go camping see you later freaking the dogs out <laughs>